Four Democratic candidates are vying for a seat in the Texas House of Representatives. The position is left vacant by Representative Lina Ortega, who is not seeking re-election after holding office since 2017. The candidates include former El Paso City Representative Alexander Anello, former El Paso County Commissioner Vince Perez, businessman Homer Reza, and former State Representative Norma Chavez. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz is live in central El Paso with more details on the highly contested District 77 race. Tirza. Good afternoon, Estella. Well, that's right. Four candidates are vying for Representative Lena Ortega's position. However, chances are high that this race is going to go ahead and head into a runoff. Voters heading out to the polls might recognize some of the names that they see on the ballot. Alexandra Anello, a former El Paso city representative. Vince Perez, a former El Paso county commissioner. There's Norma Chavez, who is a former state representative. And of course, our political newcomer, Homer Reza, who is a local businessman. The Texas legislator is anticipated to tackle a number of hot button items for the 2025 session, including education, the U.S.-Mexico border, and health care. I spoke with voters who share what policy issues matter the most to them when casting their votes. Well, I, I'm most concerned about uh, the border situation. To me, the number one being in Texas is a border issue. I think we absolutely need to contain our border. It is, there's not enough jobs, there's not enough places to house everybody. If they start working together and not fighting with each other, I think this country will be a lot better. And people I spoke with also mentioned property taxes as well as education as top concerns. The winner of this race will represent nearly 200,000 residents and serve a two-year term. Now, in order to come out on top tonight, candidates will need to receive more than 50% of the vote. However, if that does not happen, the top two vote-getters will go ahead and head into a runoff election expected to happen in May. For now, reporting in Central El Paso, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News.